Hello kids, I'm here to talk about unit number one in natural science, which is about living things. We are going to start by talking about cells, and there are three, I'm sorry, four different parts. The first one is life processes, the second one is types of living things, number three, parts of a cell, and finally, animal and plant cells. Let's go with the first one, life processes. You must know that cells are the basic unit of life, and they have got three different functions. The first one, nutrition. They obtain energy and nutrients from food. The second one, reproduction. They can divide and obtain new cells, and they are all the same, they are all identical, okay? And finally, sensitivity. They can react to what's happening around them. For example, if they get attacked, they can react to that attack, okay? Uh, according to types of living things, okay, we have to talk about unicellular systems, they only have got one cell. And multicellular systems, they have got more than one cell. Uh, some examples, birds, rabbits, mice, humans. Let's go with the third part of this lesson, parts of a cell. They have got three main parts. The first one, the membrane. It covers the cell. There you have a drawing. Number two, nucleus. It controls the function of the cell. And finally, the cytoplasm. It's a jelly-like material which contains the organelles. And there you are a picture. And finally, we have to talk about the differences between animal and plant cells. Uh, plant cells have a rigid cell wall. That's the reason why some plants are so rigid and hard. The second one, plant cells have chloroplasts to absorb sunlight. You know that they need sunlight in order to make their food. And finally, plant cells are bigger. Comparison, uh, we are comparing two different things. And they have a regular shape. There you are, a picture. And that's all. Now, I want you to watch this video as many times as you need. You can stop it, go back if you didn't understand something. Okay? And that's all. Bye-bye.